Hey, Rashma, how's it going? Good. Talking about a long overdue topic, charting. Core EHR. Let's talk. So today I'm going to go over the Medplum charting starter pack. Just like our other demos, it's meant to be cloned, run, and modified. The main workflow we'll show is how to submit a chart note, and then that note will be parsed into structured fire discrete data. Nice. One of the features we'll show in this starter pack is how to have the input form for the note change dynamically based on the encounter type. We'll go through an obstetrics example versus a gynecology example and show how the form will change to collect only the pertinent data for that encounter. Got it. So are these things like the soap note or flow sheet I might've heard about as part of a charting experience? That's right. And you can actually mix and match those concepts based on your specific care model. The goal here is to drive provider efficiency by only collecting the appropriate information by the appropriate person. Sounds good. Then the upside of collecting all this structured data is it allows us to see how their health is improving or not improving over time. This is big value add. I think we've seen a lot of health data that's not really semantically comparable over time or across systems. That's right. And it being fire compliant means it is comparable not only within Medpom, but across systems as well. So you can gather external sources of information to add to the patient record. The other upside is this data is billing ready and can be submitted to revenue cycle management. One of the key aspects of charting. So here we are in the charting demo app. And on the main page here, we have a list of our current encounters in progress. Currently, we only have one encounter in progress for Marge Simpson. So we'll click on it and we'll see that it's an obstetrics appointment. In addition to the basic vital signs and chief reason for visit, we also have details about her pregnancy history. Makes sense. Looks like very useful with all those enums provided and structured data for vital signs, for example. That's right. In addition to all the structured data here, we can also have a pretext field and that has the narrative on top of all the structured data. We also are able to add these complaints to the patient's full problem list if they need to, but this is a physician kind of judgment call of whether or not the diagnosis is worthy of the problem list or just lives for the lifetime of this specific visit. Super useful. As promised in the past, this form can actually be dynamic based on the type of visit we have. So here, if I change it to be a gynecology visit, now you'll see we are still capturing vitals, but we have more information that we're collecting around preferred contraceptive methods and some more SDOH things that might impact gynecological health. Look at that. That's like structured. When you press submit, what happens there? Yeah. So let's fill it out real quick. We'll put in a placeholder diagnosis, add a problems list, and then we'll fill out some of these. And these are all tagged with the appropriate standard ontologies, SNOMED and MOIN. which is the day of the visit. It'll say it's just today. So you see, we get the summary here. We also can look at the details of the encounter and we'll see that the encounter is ready for billing because it has the type class, which are SNOMED codes. We also have the visit length, which is a key input into the kind of office visit it was when you do your automatic coding. Very cool. I can see at least three automations in here, like automatically creating the SDOH, adding to the problems list if possible, and creating the billing ready data. That's exactly right. So now we've charted this encounter. Let's look at the upside in terms of the longitudinal health of the patient. So if I go to Marge Simpson's profile, again, I get a clinical summary like we do everything else. We will see we have a history of her encounters. We have all the notes that have mm -hmm. previously been collected. Right. As well as the structured numerical observations that we can then chart over time. So we can see how her weight, blood pressure have been changing. Amazing. That's really useful because then you can have that longitudinal record without having to extract the data manually. That's exactly right. So this is just scratching the surface on charting. You know, we this is our starter pack. You can take it add your own custom kind of input forms. This comes with a series of bots that 
parse those out into structured data. You can take those, those are open source, and augment them to generate your own structured data for longitudinal tracking. This should be everything you need to get started with a full feature chartering experience. Really cool. I think that you could see how this would streamline workflow, both on the billing side and on the care side. That's right.